Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue. And I was filming today for something very, very cool coming out on May the 19th. So you'll want to stay tuned. Be sure you join us on all of our social channels. We are Big Cat Rescue everywhere. And we will be sure to let you know what's happening on May the 19th because it's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't wait. Meanwhile, here's what's happening in Big Cat News. And it's been a while since I've been able to read the news to you. I think it has been since about the 18th. So... They're trying to end bobcat hunting in Illinois. We are all for ending bobcat hunting. And I read a great article this morning on the Animals 24-7 by Merritt and Beth Clifton. And they were talking about how, in addition to the fur trade pretty much being dead now, no pun intended, that the only fur industry that still existed was trapping for fur in the U.S. of bobcats and otters and um, other little fur bearers and shipping that to Russia. Well, guess what's going on with the Ukraine and the Russian sanctions? They're not shipping furs. And they were saying that so many of these fur markets where they were previously selling U.S. trapped animals to sell into these Asian and Russian mar markets were only selling about 5% of the animals that they had killed. So the trappers are looking at this and saying, we need to find another job. And we absolutely agree. This is a great picture of a caracal. It says, look, resident captures best encounter with a caracal in 43 years. And the best kinds of encounters are where the cats are living free. You can find all of this news at bigcatrescue.org news. If you want to read more, you just click on the picture or on the headline and it'll take you to the rest of the story. This one is called In Pictures, See the 25 Lions Who Have Taken Over Exhibition Park. The feds find Animal Haven Zoo of Urkabuse and escapes. That was really exciting. Um, $6,450 for the wretched way that they have treated the animals there. The UP reports that the Forest Department rescues leopard cub in Meerut and searches for the mother. And then, I missed the top of this, teenage boy mauled to death in an animal attack in MP's Sanjay Tiger Reserve. <sighs> 14 year old boy. That's sad. Tiger death. Tumsar, the big cat, was electrocuted. Two are being held for that. Big Cat Sanctuary opens new event space to help fund rescues nationwide. That's my friend Bobby Brink out at Lions, Tigers, and Bears in Alpine, California. She's opening an event space. Years ago, we thought we were going to do that. We were going to open this big, beautiful event pavilion, and we were going to do weddings and birthdays and bar mitzvahs and use that as a fundraiser for the sanctuary. And our dreams never came about, but it looks like Bobby Brinks has. So that's wonderful news. The first country in the world has given legal rights to individual wild animals. I thought this was interesting. I read this one and they were saying it's not like they have the right to vote or anything, but that they have the right to exist. And that really puts us all on notice that, hey, we need to be more respectful. And so I think it was a great move. Roadside Zoo Week in Review, they talked about... Um, what was it? Easy, Easy Farm, Animal Gardens, Barking Cow Farms, Animal Haven Zoo, that, that find that they got, World Wildlife, Double H Exotics, Wakatee Zoo, all of them and all of their citations after being written up by USDA. Tribal Man Killed by a Tiger near the Pinch Reserve in Siona. California aims to save mountain lion population with new animal crossing. I love those where they have it going over the road and uh, there's some that go under the roads, but these that go over the roads I think are particularly cool because cats like to be up high anyway. Tigress found dead in wildlife sanctuary. Poor skinny cat. This was a great video by, um, <laughs> I skipped on his name, Jackson Galaxy. And it's called, Will Hybrid Cats Disappear? They're mowing outside. It was a great video. You should watch it. And then I responded to an alleged attack by a serval on a three-year-old child. And I have a person from the news that just asked if they could set up an interview to talk about that some more. So you can read all about what happened there. And it's pictures that the mother supplied of what this serval cat did in a pet store. 
Tahoe Wildlife Care gives injured bobcat a second chance. I love those stories. They do need to go free. String of cougar attacks in Greater Victoria prompts warning to watch your pets and your kids. Fool's Day prank on black leopard cubs inside Nagar Hole creates a buzz among wildlifers. I don't know what that was about. A win for the wild. Costa Rica's ocelots are faring well, according to this article. 200 cameras out there to count big cats. You know that's what I think it's going to take to save these cats in the wild, is lots of live streaming cameras and all of us watching them all the time. Imagine if we had been watching those those cameras and could have maybe given that 14-year-old boy a heads up that there's a tiger in the neighborhood and that maybe he shouldn't be outside. Yeah, that would have been a life-saving opportunity based on those cameras, so we really need to implement more of that. Wild and exotic animal community engagement in Royal Oak, Michigan. Big cat killed on Pacific Coast Highway. And this is just page one of 202 pages of news. So let's head over to Workplace where I have a coordinator report from Nisha Prima who says, what a warm day it was today. After so many rainy days these past few days, we were blessed with nice weather. The day got started with Lauren Buckingham doing AM meds and Beth Ann came in to do AM supplements. Today was Ivermectin Day and all of the cats did wonderful. Small cat feeders were Susan, Bonnie, and Jordan. The big cat feeders were Ryan, Beth Ann, and myself. Afterwards, the cleaners went out. Small cats were cleaned by Bonnie, Catherine, and Ryan. Big cats were cleaned by Susan, Beth Ann, and Jordan. Brittany took care of the rehab bobcats. Food prep got done by Mrs. Diana. A few small projects got done before lunch. Trash and the recycling got taken out from the gift shop and toilet paper and paper towel, paper towel rolls were restocked. <laughs> toilet paper and paper towels were restocked in the, all of the bathrooms. I thought they were going to be talking about the enrichment. Supplies from the mail room were taken out to the workshop. <laughs> and I heard there was like our mailbox was full and overflowing. We had so much mail going out this morning. So bravo to everybody getting all that mail out. After lunch, the interns mowed, weed eated, and sprayed the walkway tiles with weed killer and fixed up the garden area. Everything looks wonderful. Afterwards, they had some time to start part of Lovey Bobcat's cage. Myself and Catherine cleaned out the golf cart batteries and topped them off with water. Bonnie got big cat enrichment sign off by me. Bonnie and Susan did enrichment and blood sickle cats. I did PM supplements. The beautiful day ended with Brittany doing PM meds and the interns doing chores. Thank you all for coming in today. We were small but mighty, mighty, and that was Nisha Prima with all of these lovely photos. You can stay up to date with us at bigcatrescue.org. Check out all of our social sites. We are Big Cat Rescue everywhere that you are. Thank you, and please share this with a friend. Mwah!